So I'm showing um, the Thinker after Rodin, which is a sculpture, and um, nine studio wall drawings. So the Thinker is a, a large hexagonal column, and inside it has some computing equipment, which is kind of doing an evolving um, artificial life program, which is constantly uh, changing the way in which it um, calculates things. So it is literally thinking, and unlike Rodin's sculpture of this physiological uh, you know, representation of somebody having a think that isn't thinking, this is just a, a, a simple black column um, that's got thought inside, so the material is the kind of thought. And in, in a AI circles, the idea of, is something thinking, we can never know. And so this idea of not knowing what the other is thinking, uh, not knowing if we are thinking, uh, not understanding if there's any force in the universe that might be thinking. These questions are sort of embodied in that, in that simple column. You know, once we would see an object with a light bulb on it, and we wouldn't really know what it is, but now we have this, this kind of ominous sense that it's computing something which controls us in some way. If the thinker represents a kind of internal process of thought as a sort of a energy state, then the drawings represent the residue of that state. So the drawings themselves um, are really what happens when uh, some, somebody is in a process and they leave detritus behind. So you look at them as a, as a journey, as a snail trail or something, uh, behind the artist traveling through time. And what's interesting is they've gone on over years, is you see repeating themes and, uh, and various interconnections between the drawings, which don't happen chronologically. There might be six month gaps between them. And so when they're displayed as a whole wall, you break up that linear time. So, you know, Tuesday following Monday and Wednesday following Tuesday. Um, that doesn't happen. It, it can jump backwards in time, forwards in time, and you get this kind of sense, a bit more like the brain works, of interconnection. In terms of um, this idea of a childhood fear, this drawing, somewhere at the edge of the universe, you can see that the stars have formed the words, turn back now. And uh, as a child in bed, I used to have this uh, kind of game I played with myself, which was to try and think about the notion of infinity. I would um, imagine it, you know, going on and on and on, and I would get to a point where my brain would kind of cut off and say, no, nope, enough, when I would get to this, oh, it never ends, it never ends. And so it kind of, in this drawing, it's represented as turn back now in the stars. As, and it's, also, it, it's not really about space. It's about the human mind and its limitations, and, and it's and the way in which it protects itself from those things that it can't understand.